important uh, uh, office for government. Mr. O'Neill said the national government is seriously looking at introducing legislative reforms to the Higher Education Act 1983 to achieve quality education. He said Cabinet also approved a proposed Higher Education General Provisions Bill 2013, which will be tabled in the November sitting. Once passed, this legislation will repeal the Higher Education Act. We must pass laws in the interest of our country and our people. This new bill has been prepared to update the provisions of the 1983 Act to better reflect PNG's current needs for quality in higher and technical education and more coordinated development of national capabilities in research, science and technology. The new legislation will clarify requirements for the approval of new institutions, including new universities, and improve the quality of existing institutions. As part of this reform, NEC has also approved the establishment of a new Department of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, which will take over the roles currently performed by the Commission for Higher Education, CHE, and the Office of Higher Education, or OHE. Ms. O'Neill said this change was well overdue, as the 1983 Act, which establishes the CHE and OHE, has no requirement for the accountability and performance of institutions of higher learning. He said under the old Act, the jurisdiction of the CHE extends to declared institutions, such as those who receive government funding. Ms. O'Neill said much has changed in the country and higher education since 1983 and it is fitting to make the amendments. The Prime Minister said the reform aims to bring about a legal and regulatory environment that encourages innovation and achievement, promoting quality, improving institutional and organizational accountability and advancing research, science and technology. Bernadette Effie, National MTV News.